Jackson Township, New Jersey. It's the NJSIAA South Jersey Non-Public A Boys Championship game between St. Joe's Metuchen, 22-5, and, and St. Augustine Prep, 28-1. Ben Budinovich has been introduced, number two for uh, St. Joe's McCutcheon. He is a six foot four senior. Also, Brian Tyree, a six one senior, is headed to Ole Miss. Number 22 is six two junior Xavier Towns. Number 23 is six seven sophomore Alonzo Frank. And also, Tyus Battle. 6'5 senior is headed to Syracuse. Dan Turco, coach at St. Joe's Metuchen, and won more than 400 games in his career. And they eliminated St. Augustine from the state tournament three years ago. For St. Augustine. Saeed Nelson. Austin Kennedy. Justin Mutz, Walt Harvey, and Marlon Hargis, their typical starting line of only the one senior, though, a, a very important senior in uh, Saeed Nelson. You're looking there at the St. Joseph Tushin, and number one, Tyus Battle, he goes to Syracuse. Number five, Brian Tyree goes to Ole Miss, so they have uh, a couple of Division I players in this lineup, and they played a tough schedule, a similar schedule to the type of schedule St. Augustine has played. St. Augustine ranked number three in overall South Jersey on the online 25, and St. Joe will touch the number six. Actually, when it's 81 degrees outside the gymnasium here at Jackson Township as we start the game. It's more, more like spring training than anything else. Boardwalk Honda Game of the Week, produced by Prime Events. Check out their online inventory at Boardwalk Honda. Com. You know, now in its 84th year as a family-owned and operated dairy company, Cumberland Dairy is one of the premier manufacturers of specialty dairy products in the United States. Look for their fresh life label milks and creams at your local supermarket or convenience store. Cumberland Dairy, proud to sponsor coverage of St. Augustine Prep Sports. Jumping center, Alonzo Frank, number 23 for uh, St. Joe Metuchen against uh, Justin Mutz. And we're about ready to go here at Jackson Liberty High School. Tip is controlled by Battle. He goes into the right corner, but they bring it all the way outside to Tyree. Tyree gets a screen, pulls up from distance. Back rim no good. Kennedy has the rebound. And Saeed Nelson goes to work. Leading scorer, leading assist maker in the Cape Atlantic League, going to American University. In the corner, Nelson drives, little scoop shot is partially blocked. And here they go the other way. Battle with the ball, weaves through the defense, his shot blocked by Paul Harvey, and we go the other way with Nelson. Mutz swings it right, gets it back. Mutz crosses over, but can't get a shot. In the corner, it's Hargis. He starts a move. He's down the lane. Floats it up, no good. Missed the rim. Going the other way is Battle. Pulls up for three. Back rim, no good. Mutz with a rebound. Minute gone, no score. Nelson in the lane. Bounces off a defender. Shot, no good. Rebound, Battle. Battle around the back dribble. And his shot, he never really got it up. And it's out of bounds off of him, and he's still down. He's still down. St. Augustine, with a there you can see the play, and he fell awkwardly. And I'm not sure if it, you could see his ankle turn a little bit as he went down, but maybe the way he hit, too. Let's see. Well, anything could have happened, and he's up, though. And so it doesn't seem to be a leg or ankle situation. But something certainly, because he's up, but he's still in pain. Big, big crowd here, especially students from St. Augustine Prep, and he went down right in front of them. They were cheering because the ball went out of bounds off of them. As soon as they realized he was hurt, they shut up. 
and it looks like he's going to come out of the game. And that's a big loss. This guy's going to Syracuse. He's one of the top players in the state. Replaced by Khalif Powell, the freshman. Okay, St. Augustine trying to get on the board. Kennedy on the right side. In the middle. They feed down low. And a spinning move. It's up and good. But it's an offensive foul. So Justin Mutz draws an offensive foul on a really nice move. Except it was illegal. St. Joe's comes up slowly. Atlantic City has advanced to the state final. They'll play on Saturday at noon against Linden at Rutgers. In the lane, short shot is up and good. It rattles in by Alonzo Frank. First two points of the game. Nelson quickly the other way. He feeds inside. Hargis. There's a foul. Hargis will go to the line for a pair that can tie the game. 5.59 remaining. As you can see that play. He went strong to the basket. That's his first. Team's first. They charged the foul against West. And West is replaced by Tyus Battle. It's good to see him back on the court. Hargis trying to tie it here. And he does. 2-2. Two -two. Just over two minutes gone in the first quarter. A little full court, full court pressure. Pretty much containment pressure by St. Augustine. Tyree gets the ball right side to Vidinovich. The Vidinovich double team brings it back outside. Tyree for three, off the front of the rim. Davinovich gets the rebound, feeds inside the battle. He misses the little shot, but he was fouled. So Tyus Battle's going to go to the line. The foul is on Walt Harvey. Second against St. Augustine. And Battle shoots a pair. First one is short. Shooting right into the St. Augustine section, as you can see in the left of your screen. Nice <laughs> Richland Rowdies. Second one's good by Battle and gets a big groan from the crowd. Three to two, St. Joe's leads it. Right side, Hargis. Mutz with the ball. Gives it to Nelson. Pulls up from 18, it's blocked. And here they go the other way. Tyree steps on the sideline. Good block by Frank. Reacting and coming out and defending Nelson, but turnover on the fast break. Nelson will inbound. They get inside the Mutz. Back in the corner. Harvey tries to feed inside, it's intercepted. Here's a three on the way. Rims the basket, no good. Offensive board is up and good. And Alonzo Frank with his second field goal gives St. Joe's a 5-2 lead. Nelson gets a screen, gets all the way through, and his scoop shot's good off the glass. Saeed Nelson. Winner of this game plays at 7 o'clock Saturday at the Pine Belt Arena on the campus of Toms River North for the state championship. There's a lob by Battle right of the lane and thrown way too hard by Frank. Past uh, Tyree and out of bounds. 5-4. St. Augustine trying to get the lead here. Kennedy swings it left side to Mutz. Mutz starts down the baseline, has it tipped away, brings it out to Nelson. Nelson gets a screen, gets another one going the other way, feeds down low to Kennedy. 
Back out to Mutz. Pass across court is out of bounds, but tipped out of bounds by St. Joe. Nelson will inbound. Gets it to Mutz. Back to Nelson. Down the baseline, and he's fouled. Fouled by Battle, looks like. Yep. Tyus Battle. Tyus Battle, his first, team second. Then Sae Nelson to the line with a pair of free throws that can give St. Augustine the lead. Nope. Now he can only tie it. Second free throw. Rims the basket. St. Joe. Tyree with the ball. Gave up his dribble. Ladinovich. Three is no good. Ripped down by Harvey. Nelson drives the lane, reverse spin layup is good. He's got four and a six five St. Augustine. Three and a half minutes left first quarter. Tyree across the half court, he's going to Ole Miss. Gets down the lane, his scoop shot rolls in. Contact there, defender went down, Fisher said nothing. Out near half court, it's Nelson. He gets the screen going left. It accelerates. Shot no good. Foul is up and good by Mutz. Eight seven as they go back and forth. St. Augustine by one. Driving the lane. And an offensive foul is called on Tyree. Came close to it in the last possession when he scored. This time he. Uh, the call is made. Third team foul against St. Joe McCutcheon. And Hargis is replaced by Brendan Aldridge, the 6'3 junior for St. Augustine. St. Augustine by one. Just under three minutes left in the first quarter. Nelson the Mutz left side gets it back. Nelson comes back out near half court. He's going to run the set again. Nope, they're going to call timeout. Paul Rodeo wants to discuss something. 30-second timeout called by St. Augustine. They lead 87 with 2.34 remaining in the first quarter. Boardwalk Accurate Game of the Week produced by Prime Events. Brian Carroll and their professional staff waiting to serve you at Boardwalk Acura Chilton Road in Egg Harbor Township. Gillian's Wonderland Pier won't open until the middle of April, but uh, your tickets from last year are good this year. Save them. Bring them up there. They will uh, honor them. You can also save on some more tickets and other goodies by going to Gillian's.com or visiting on Asbury Avenue at downtown Gillian's. Gillian's Wonderland Pier. Latrell West is back in the game for St. Joe Metuchen. Nelson brings it across half court. Gets it back on the left side. Gets a screen. Whips it inside to Mutz, back outside. Here's a three from Nelson. Not really in the rhythm there. He was thinking about it, decided to fire it. He's got seven. St. Augustine by four. Two minutes left, first quarter. Tyree repositioning people. To the right side. Vodinovich feeds inside. The shot is up and off the glass by Frank. He's got six points. Just a sophomore. With Nelson down the lane. Rip this way up over his head off the glass. Saeed Nelson with nine points here in the first quarter. St. Augustine by four. Battle with it. He swings it left side. Vodinovich. Battle in the corner. Battle's going to Syracuse. As soon as his high school career ends. Sometime in the next two weeks. Driving shot is up no good by Vodinovich. He gets the rebound. And it's Travis. 
first name is Branislav Vladinovich. We asked the coach. Somebody had told us they call him Ben. We asked the coach if we could call him Ben. He says, sure. He says, I call him lots of other things, but you can't use that on the air. Xavier Towns is into the game for St. Joe's. He's guarding Nelson. Mutz off balance travels. Fifty seconds left. St. Joe with the ball down four. Winner plays seven o'clock Saturday. Pine Belt Arena in Tom River. It's actually a little closer to the shore than, than this. Just a little. Town swings it left side. Here's the three on the way. Missed everything. Tyree. And uh, Badinovich tried to save it, but didn't. Lewis Reyes, a 6'8 junior, replaces Mutz for the final 28 seconds of the first quarter. Give him a little rest. Make sure he doesn't get that second foul. Tyree's also coming out. Latrell West back on for the Falcons. Those are the Richland Rowdies. 13 to 9. Nelson. Left side Kennedy. Back to Nelson. Down to 10 seconds. Nelson moves him away. Starts a move. Gets it over there. The three is way off. The rebound loose on the floor. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. Aldridge never got lined up for that shot. 13 to 9. St. Augustine leads St. Joe McCutcheon after one quarter here at Jackson Liberty High School. The Boardwalk Honda Game of the Week produced by Prime Events. Connect with Brian Bromell and the sales staff at Boardwalk Honda on Facebook. Shoppies is even better online. You probably visited their showroom at 1031 Shore Road in Linwood, but at Shoppies.com, you can select and design your own trophy reward and order it right there. Shoppies also has a complete line of gifts. Remember, you're not presenting the finest trophy unless you're presenting a Shoppie trophy. Phone 609-653-1684 for Shoppies since 1921. Don't forget that... Uh, MSG Varsity will be doing live streaming of uh, most of the state finals over the weekend. You can uh, watch live coverage at uh, their website or using their app. And also coverage of the Tournament of Champions final on Monday, March 21st. St. Augusta with a 13-9 lead. And they're back... Uh, to their starting lineup. Big reason, of course, Saeed Nelson with nine points here in the first quarter. St. Joe not back to their starting lineup. They still have uh, Xavier Towns, a 6'2 junior, has come into the game to try to stop Nelson. Here he gets screened off. Back to Harvey. And now Nelson again. Nelson bounces to Mutz, gets it back. Hargis. St. Augustine patient, and they have to be. Kennedy. Nelson gets the screen, pulls up for three. Back rim, no good. Rebound loose, grabbed by Harvey, and he's fouled. Looks like it might be on town. Yep. His first, the fourth against St. Joe here in the first half. Comes into Harvey. Starts a move, has it stolen away. And he made a foul trying to get it back. Let's see. Yep. Harvey's second foul. Team third. And quickly, Brendan Aldridge is back up. And Harvey go, will sit down. Sophomore Alonzo Frink is played well a 6-7 sophomore for St. Joe's he has six points three of their four field goals made a nice steal there Vadinovich and a foul 
Medinovich made the foul, a pass into the lane, and the foul was committed by Aldridge. His first team fourth. Medinovich will inbound. Lobs inbound to Paddle. Battle has one point in the game so far. Right side, Tyree. Frank comes out and gets the ball, puts it back in Tyree's hands. Starts a drive, dropped that shoulder. Berlinovic almost lost it. Here's a drive, shot blocked by Mutz. Tuck Towns driving the baseline. Here goes Nelson at the other end. Spin reverse right up is good. A classic Saeed Nelson drive. He's got 11 points, and it's 15 to 9. St. Augustine by six. Right side, it's a three for Tyree. Off the rim, no good. Nelson with a rebound. Ahead to Kennedy. Pulls up and gives it to Nelson, and why not? Nelson between the circles. Shouts out the set. Right side, Nelson be going to American University. Three for Kennedy from way out is off the rim, no good. Frink got the rebound. Racing down court. Pull up at the foul line is short by Tyree. And the rebound by Nelson. It's knocked away from him. Davinovich to, to Frink and Frink adjusts in the air. Shot no good. Got his own rebound. Blocked by Mutz but a foul is called. And it's on Mutz. His second, team fit. What do you think? Rowdies don't like it. Frank will shoot a pair. His first free throws. 5.37 left in the first half. First one is no good. Hit the back rim and pop by in the air. Khalif Battle, the freshman, comes back on, replacing a Towns for St. Joe's. Mutz is still on with two fouls for St. Augustine. Second free throw is good. So Frank now has seven points. St. Augustine leads by five with five and a half left in the first half. Kennedy fakes a three. Left side, Hargis. Crossover. Tries to feed inside. Carried it out of bounds. Tried to feed back to Nelson who was cutting into the lane but lost control of it and went out of bounds. Here comes Harvey back in replacing Vargas. Paul Rodeo. 858 wins in his 39th season. Dave Turco has more than 400 at St. Joe's Metuchen. Here's a three on the way. It's short by Battle. Nelson races. Down the lane. Scoop shot is good. 13 points for Saeed Nelson. Short jump shot is no good by Tyree. Here goes Nelson again. Bounces inside, and a foul is going to send Brandon Aldrich to the line. Looks like it's against Khalif Battle, the freshman. His first team fifth. Aldridge will shoot two. First one's good, his first point. And Hargis back on Harvey out. 30 second timeouts be called by St. Joe's. 441 left in the first half. It's St. Augustine 18, St. Joe Metuchen 10. Signal graphics on Chilton Road and Egg Harbor Township is your local commercial printer with the personal service you expect. Cut out the middleman, save time and money. 
Signal Graphics prints full color in-house. Signal state-of-the-art equipment, expert printing staff allows them to produce an excellent product for very low cost. For fast turnaround and great prices, call the Gunnels, Riley or Kay, at 609-569-9990. And for special service, ask for Chugger. Signal Graphics. Last time these two teams played, there was a guy in the uh, St. Joe lineup named Carl Anthony Towns who kind of dominated the game. Seven-footer, now playing in the NBA, candidate for Rookie of the Year, number one draft pick. But it's six-foot Saeed Nelson who's dominating the game so far with 13 points. Here's second free throw, no good, by Aldridge. St. Augustine by eight, St. Joe with the ball. Tyree. Now they get it out to Frank, who's played well. The ball tipped away from Battle, but he keeps it. Battle bounces it inside, way too low. But luckily it went off St. Augustine. It'll come in from the baseline. Battle. Here's a three on the way. It's off the rim, no good. Way up for the rebound is Reyes, who came in during that timeout. Nelson, Kennedy fakes the three, now he fires. Back rim, no good. On the run, Javinovich, and the, a foul is called on Kennedy. He stopped the battle from getting the layup. Draws his first foul, the 16th foul against St. Augustine. And to the foul line with the foul. is the freshman, Khalif Battle. First free throw is good. Hit every little part of the rim and dropped in. His first point. 18-11, 4-0-2 first half. South Jersey championship game. And it's good. Two for two for Battle. 18-12, a little full court pressure by St. Joe's, Kennedy with it. Back to Nelson, across the timeline. Passes left side, they get it to, one of the players hit the floor, the shot's no good. Hargis tried to get the rebound, couldn't do it. Here goes Battle, and it's Kennedy. Battle just lost control, came right to Kennedy. Kennedy bounces to Hargis, layup is good. Four points for Marlon Hargis. St. Augustine by eight. Outside, Davinovich puts it into the uh, younger battle's hand. Now Tyus battle with the ball. Starts his move down the lane. Shots up short. He lands up on the floor. He was fouled. So he'll go to the line. He doesn't have a field goal yet. Fouls on Reyes. His first. Seventh against St. Augustine. So St. Joe will shoot fouls the rest of this half. Right now, Tyus Battle trying to get something going. He's the big man on campus. He only has one point. Makes that free throw. He's headed to Syracuse. Harvey back in for St. Augustine. Aldridge will sit down. Mutz is on the bench with two fouls. Second free throw is good. So Battle hits them both. It's three for four on the line. And it's 20 to 14. St. Augustine by six. Kennedy with the ball in the backcourt. Across to Nelson. Back to Kennedy. Reyes. Here's Kennedy for three. Back rim no good. Badinovich is trying to go coast to coast. And he does. First two points for the six foot four senior. And a timeout is called by St. Augustine immediately. They don't like the coast to coast plays. 20 to 16, St. Augustine by four. 254 left, first half. You'll like the way they do business at the Thomas H. Heist Insurance Agency. They're coastal insurance specialists with over 35 years experience. Flood, boat, auto, life, health. They offer it all at the Heist Agency with convenient offices located in Ocean City, Margate, Egg Harbor Township, Marmora, and Vineland. Phone 609-399-0453. You'll also find them online at heistagency.com. Remember Thomas H. Heist.
when you need insurance. Boardwalk Honda invites you to check out their always up-to-date online inventory, ideal for doing research from the comfort of your own home or office. And when you found the Honda models you like, visit Boardwalk Honda, 6807 Tilton Road in Egg Harbor Township and take a test drive. You'll quickly understand why Boardwalk Honda has such an expansive base of loyal customers. Boardwalk Honda, call toll-free, 877-472-6499. Bigger, better Boardwalk. Boardwalk Honda. Nelson across half court gets to Kennedy. Feet inside. Here's a jump shot of 15 foot from the right. No good. By Harvey. Vadinovich in the back row has a little trouble with the ball, but brings it across half court. St. Joe down four with two and a half minutes left in the first half. South Jersey championship game. There's a spin move by Frank. His shot's no good, though. Rebound by Harvey. Nelson accelerates across half court. Nelson down the lane, adjusts, and spins it in off the glass. This is a show we're seeing here from Saeed Nelson. 15 points with 2.13 left in the first half of the South Jersey Final. The second foul on top of everything on Tyus Battle. Nelson, Nelson trying to complete a three-point play. And he does. The only thing he's done wrong is missed two free throws. And he makes that one. So he's got 16 points. St. Augustine by seven. Left side. Into the lane. Short jump shot by Tyree. No good. And Mutz, who came back in during that free throw, gets the rebound. Mutz playing with two fouls. Here's Mutz in the lane, and he slams it. Justin Mutz brings the Rowdies to life. He's got four points. He can do that at any time from almost any location. From the foul line in. Battle feeds inside. Shots up and good by Frank, the unheralded sophomore, who's got nine points. The two Division I players have not scored much. Short jump shot is way too strong by Hargis, but Kennedy gets the rebound. Harvey down low. Hargis foul. Vladinovich commits the foul, his first. Seventh team foul. Everybody shoots for the last minute and nine seconds of this half. Right now, Hargis, who's uh, two for two on the line, has uh, two free throws. He makes the first one. Five points for him. Mutz comes out again. Reyes is back on. Harvey comes out. And Aldridge comes on. Back on for St. Joe is Xavier Towns. Second free throw is good. Six for Hargis. 27-18, St. Augustine by nine with a minute left in the first half. Left side. Rodinovich bounces the ball to Frink. Almost lost out of bounds by Tyree. He bobbled it, was spinning in his hands, but he managed to control it. Got it now. Pulls up from 18. Off the rim, no good. They're just not shooting well. They're getting some open looks. Just not shooting well. And this guy with the ball is doing everything. Nelson, whistle. A foul is called. On Reyes. Who's saying what? So a foul on Reyes away from the ball. Team control, so St. Joe's takes it. That young man will be uh, at Ole Miss next year. Brian Tyree. They're going to play for the last shot. Battle holds it on his hip. 20 seconds. St. Joe down nine. Playing for the last shot. 15 seconds. You can see the clock. The upper left-hand corner there. 
battle with a crossover. Drops it back off to Tyree. He, he's going to fire it inside. Frank puts it in at the buzzer. Alonzo Frank with 11 points in the first half. He's 6'7 sophomore, and it's a good thing because otherwise they'd be in trouble. You see Paul Rodeo and his team heading to the locker room. Looks like the tie is gone. And his team, though, leads 27 to 20. Boardwalk Accurate Games. My silent partner, Matt Omer, providing you with the great pictures. A great facility here, Jackson Liberty, and they do a terrific job of hosting these games. This game was supposed to be played yesterday, but because of the death of a Notre Dame soccer player, Notre Dame high school player, and their team that was going to attend his funeral yesterday, they moved it here. But Notre Dame didn't get to this game, so they but they still kept it here on a Thursday. So Jackson Liberty hosted games three days in a row. Right side, jump shot is good. As they start the second half, goes to St. Joe's with Latrell West hitting a jumper. They have not shot well. 27-22, here's a guy that shot well. Nelson, skip pass to Mutz. Mutz gets it back. Now Nelson, he's got 16 points, spins at the foul line, gets it back, but there's a travel in there. Not sure whether it was on Mutz or Harvey or both. But the play didn't work. 27-22, St. Augustine by five. Tyree. They get the ball inside to Frank. He's strong move to the basket. Is unsuccessful, but he does draw a foul. Looks like it might be on Hargis. Yep. His first. And the first foul of the second half. Alonzo Frank, 11 points in the first half. One for two on the line. Misses that one. He's not shooting into the Richland Rowdies this time. Shooting into some very relaxed people. Put that at the other end. He missed them both. Kennedy, looking at his own press, gets it ahead. Across to Nelson. Nelson feels the contact, falls backwards and hits as he slides across the floor. 18 points for Saeed Nelson. One of the penetrate, felt the contact. Faded away and banked it in. 29-22. On the left wing. Javon, it's down the lane, and he drops it in. Hit the back of the rim, but he had a soft enough touch with his fall in. Vodinovich has four. In the corner, Mutz tries to go baseline. Feeds instead to Hargis, who missed the dunk. Rebound going the other way by Battle. Battle is down the lane and puts it up and in his first field goal. Five points for Battle, timeout St. Augustine. With 6.17 left in the third quarter. A 30 second timeout by Paul Rodeo, his third timeout of the game. There's a full line of brand new cars available for rent and just four wheels on the White Horse Pike in Galloway Township, Delcy Drive in Vineland, and on Washington Street in Cape May. They also have moving vans, minivans, and 15 passenger vans. Be smart. Rent at just four wheels, serving South Jersey for more than 35 years in Galloway Township, Vineland, Berlin, Cape May, and Lakewood. They're open 8.30 a.m. until 7 p.m. daily. Just four wheels. Car, truck, and van rental. St. Augustine possession, a lead by three. At a seven point lead. Half time. Nelson double teamed to Mutz, feeds into Harvey, layup good. First two for Walt Harvey, good feed by Justin Mutz. Mutz only has four points in the game, but big dunk, some big rebounds, and a couple nice passes like that, too. Dave Turco shouts out the set from St. Joe's. They bounce it in, double team battle, throws it all the way across court. Davinovich back of the rim, no good. And it's 
out of bounds. Latrell West trying to save it, couldn't. St. Augustine possession, they're up five. Kennedy. Harvey. And Mutz throw, almost threw it away. And, and Nelson is run into by Latrell West. West should have intercepted that, actually. Went through his hands. Nelson grabbed it, and then West momentum carried it into him. His first, I'm sorry, his second team's first. Kennedy with the ball. Nelson. Brings it back out near half court. Kennedy right side. Nelson. Drives. Didn't get through. Good defense played here by St. Joe's and St. Augustine not forcing it. Harvey. Harvey in the lane. Fade away. Good. Four points for Harvey. Vukinovic gets the screen, almost lost it. Swings it right side, Tyree. Fade away baseline is short. And St. Augustine gets a rebound. Prep by seven, feet inside to Hargis. Not a nice pass by Mutz. Eight points for Marlon Hargis. Battle across half court and St. Joe's calls timeout. 35-26, St. Augustine by nine with 4.01 remaining in the third quarter. That's the sec second timeout call by St. Joe's. Vic Sub Shop, 742 Ohio Avenue in Absecon offers great quality and friendly service with all sandwiches available for pickup or delivery. Phone 645-0500. Vic's is open seven days a week until 8 p.m. on weeknights, 9.30 on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. You can also visit Vic Sub Shop on Zion Road in a Garber Township. Be sure to try Vic's Special, a sub piled high with their special assortment of fresh meats and cheeses. Vic Sub Shop, Ohio Avenue in Absecon. That's Dan, uh, there should be Dave Turco. 400 plus wins at St. Joe's with Touchin. Very successful coach. They're working it against St. Augustine. In a trapping zone. There's a three on the way from Tyree. Back rim, no good. It is. His third. Team second. Reyes comes back in. San Augustine by nine. A little less than four minutes to play in the third quarter. Tyree feeds right side. Battles. Jumper is no good. A rebound loose on the floor. Tyree puts it up, no good. And Kennedy has the rebound up. Lost it. Battle with a turnaround shot, no good. Reyes clears it off. It's tipped away from Nelson. Across half court, it's Harvey. Here goes Nelson. Feeds Reyes, who brings it back out. Prep by nine. A little over three minutes left in the third quarter. Across it, Harvey fakes. Nice strong drive by Warwick Harvey. He's got six points. St. Augusta with an 11 point lead. Three from the corner. Off the back of the rim. The rebound by Hargis. Ahead to Kennedy. He'll fire a three. Rims the basket. No good, but a rebound by Reyes. His follow. What is it? Two officials supporting at each other. It's a held ball. A held ball, and St. Joe will take over. Coming into the game is Mike Granda, 5'9", junior, and actually taking Brian Tyree out of the game. The old miss recruit. 
He has two points. Sandusky ball comes in. They get it to Nelson. Gets the screen going left. Nelson guarded by Battle. Down the lane, Hargis. Kennedy. Clock is on St. Augustine's side. Still a lot of time left, but they have an 11-point lead. Feed inside to Nelson. Ball's batted away by Frank for the foul. Foul on Battle, I think. Khalif Battle. His second, team second. But two shots here for Saeed Nelson. He's one for three on the line, 18 points in the game. Just a little less than half of St. Augustine's points. Missed the free throw. Hargis comes out. Brendan Aldridge is back on for St. Augustine. Shooting one. Second shot by Nelson is good. He has 19 points. St. Augusta by 12. Battle with the ball. Down the lane. Fades away from 12 feet. No good. Didn't hit anything. Kennedy quickly down court. Nelson sees a lane. Throws a shot. And he'll have two shots. I don't know if that was a shot or a pass, but whatever, he's going to the line. Third on battle. Saeed Nelson. Scored his thousandth point earlier this year in Ocean City against Newark Tech. Makes the free throw, he's got 20 points. Argus is back on for Harvey. Almost took the wrong guy out. Coaches were having a fit. Second free throw for Nelson. Missed it. He's missed four of them. 39-26. Towns with the ball. They get it right side. To Grenda. Down low. Frank. Sounds like it's stolen by Nelson. Nelson races down for it. He's almost tackled at the foul line. At least that's what it looked like. He'll go back to the line. Here you go, look at it. Yeah, he's holding on. Poor, poor, poor holding on for dear life and tackling him. That was... Grenda, the five foot nine junior, no shot on the play. Battle comes back in for St. Joe Matuchin along with Tyree. The two of them combined have seven points. One's going to Syracuse, the other to Ole Miss. So St. Augustine doing a job. Well, they have gotten some shots, good looks that they haven't made too. Kennedy pulls up top of the key. Nelson pulls up and he's fouled. Grandy with a foul. That's his first, the fifth against St. Joe, but he was definitely shooting. Nelson lines it up. And boy, that's all the great things he's done today. He's really struggling on the line. He's three for eight. Hargis and uh, Aldridge are back in. Second free throw is good. 21 for Saeed Nelson. St. Augustine by 14 points. Little over a minute left for the quarter. South Jersey, non-public A championship game here at Jackson Liberty High School. Javanovic's three is no good. Reyes clears the boards. Kennedy, Reyes, forty seconds. Nelson back to Kennedy. 
35 seconds. Coming to the end of the third quarter, St. Augustine by 14. And Nelson is fouled at half court. And Tyus Battle commits his third foul. Team sixth. So St. Augustine will shoot fouls for the whole fourth quarter. A little conversation between Paul Rodeo and Saeed Nelson. Battle comes out with three fouls. He won't be out too long, even though he struggled tonight. Comes in to Nelson. Hargis. He was wide open for three, he didn't take it. Nelson penetrates. Back out to Kennedy. Hargis off the dribble. No. Rebound by Frank, and he looks like he's fouled. 45 feet or 50 feet away from the basket. It's only the third team foul against St. Augustine, so there's no shot involved. 7.8 seconds left. Second foul on Brendan Aldridge. We're going to take Nelson out of the game for the last eight seconds here in the third quarter. Let him get a drink, rest, and not take any chances on a foul. He doesn't have any fouls. But he's got 21 points, more than half of St. Augustine's total. Comes in. Kodinovich. Top of the key. Feeds corner. Frank for three. Yes. Alonzo Frank. The two D1 players are not having their best game. Frank has 14 in three quarters and kind of keeping his team alive. 40 to 29. St. Augustine leads after three quarters. They're eight minutes away from another South Jersey championship and a spot in Saturday's state final. Boardwalk Acura invites you to check out their always up-to-date online inventory, ideal for doing research from the comfort of your own home or office. When you've found the Acura models you like, visit Boardwalk Honda, 6806 Chilton Road, Nake Harbor Township and take a test drive. The service you'll receive is a cut above. Ryan, Carol, and their sales staff professional, yet highly approachable. You'll quickly understand why Boardwalk Acura has such an expansive base of loyal customers. Boardwalk Acura, call toll free, 888-790-6723. We want to welcome those of you uh, listening on 97.3 ESPN-FM. St. Augustine going into the final eight minutes of this game leads St. Joe Matuchin 40 to 29 in the South Jersey non-public A championship game and Saeed Nelson has been almost unstoppable. He has 21 points. Marlon Hargis has scored eight. Walt Harvey six. Justin Mutz four. Two Division I players for St. Joe's Matuchin. Tyus Battle is going to Syracuse. He has uh, five points. And Brian Tyree, who's going to Old Miss, has two. So the St. Augusta defense has stepped up. You can watch this game, too, by going to primeevents.net. Live video pro provided by Matt Ulmer. And here's Saeed Nelson drawing his first foul. We're at Jackson Liberty High School. Winner plays 7 o'clock Saturday at the Pine Belt Arena in Tom River. Zdenovic with the ball, top of the key, drives in the lane, drops it off for Frank. He had to chase it down at the baseline. A strong, powerful drive by Alonzo Frank, the 6'7 sophomore. He is keeping St. Joe Matuchin alive. He has 16 points. Here goes Nelson, down the lane, spins it up, no good. Rebound by Frank, outlet, three on one. Zdenovic, layup good. He's got six. Down to seven points. 40 to 33 on a quick run by St. Joe's. Battle almost took that away. Almost took out our table, too. 7 04 left, fourth quarter. St. Augustine by seven. But a minute ago, it was 11. Down low, Mutz. Reverse left, good. Six points for Mutz. Two of them on a slam dunk. Here's a three on the way. No good by Vodinovich. Mutz got the rebound. Quickly to Kennedy. Kennedy's layup is no good. Followed by 
Well, Mutz puts it in. Nelson followed it. His fell short, and Mutz scores again. He's got eight. Back to 11. 11 point lead. Tyree down the lane, lays it up nicely. Up and under the defense, he's got four points. And St. Joe McCutcheons calls timeout. 6.29 remaining in the fourth quarter. St. Augustine leads it 44 to 35. Boardwalk Honda Game of the Week produced by Prime Events on 97.3 ESPN FM. Check out their online inventory at boardwalkhonda.com. If you live in Cape May County and you're having problems with an appliance, your next call should be to Ulmer's Appliance Service. Dryers, refrigerators, ranges, washers, dishwashers, disposals, you name it, Ulmer's can repair it. And they service most major brands. Ulmer's Appliance Service has offices in Ocean City, Wildwood, Seaville, and Sea Isle City. There's one close to you. Phone 609-399-4398 for more information. Ulmer's Appliance Service. So here in the non-public A South Jersey Championship game, St. Augustine has an 11, a nine-point lead, 44 to 35, over St. Joseph Metuchen. St. Augustine came in, even though uh, the seating was close, uh, St. Augustine came in ranked number three in all of South Jersey. This is uh, a ranking online 25 at primeevents.net that ranks uh, all the teams from South Jersey geographically, plus all the teams that are in South Jersey tournaments. And they are led only by Roselle Catholic and the Patrick School. St. Augustine ranked number three, St. Joe's Metuchen number six. Prep with the ball, they get it to Nelson. He's on the left wing, feeds him down the lane to Harvey, his lamp's good. Eight points for Wall Harvey. The lead's back to 11 again. Here's a three on the way, and it's off the rim. Rebound strong in there, and a follow by, uh, by St. Joe's is no good. Kennedy got the rebound. Outlet to Harvey. Harvey attacks and lays it in. Well, Harvey with back-to-back buckets has 10 points, and it's a 13-point lead. Tyree can't get through baseline. They swing it out. Battles three, rims the basket. Mutz with a rebound. Five and a half minutes left, fourth quarter. St. Augustine by 13. Down the lane, Nelson. Scoop shot is no good, but he was fouled. Foul is uh, on Frank, I think. Didn't mean for that to run. First on him. Seventh team foul against St. Joe's. Two shots for Saeed Nelson. He's got 21 points. Four for nine on the line. Hey. 5.28 left, fourth quarter. St. Augusta with its biggest lead of the game, 14 points. Missed that one. Six misses. St. Augusta has missed seven altogether. Look, the other end, battle wanted to stuff it. Ball slipped out of his hands, but he was fouled. Fouled by Mutz. That's his fourth. Highest battle, a Syracuse recruit, goes to the line. First one's good. San Augusta trying to join Atlantic City. Second free throw by battle is good. In the state finals, Atlantic City will play Linden at noon Sunday at Rutgers. Here comes up. Uh, Brendan Aldridge back in, and Mutz will sit down with those four fouls. Kennedy in the backcourt. Brings it across the timeline to Argus. Kennedy, right side Nelson. Nelson to the baseline, feeds. They bring it back out to Aldridge. Here's Kennedy. Clock's on their side. Kennedy drives, puts it up at a tough angle, no good, rebound by Vodinovich. He's pressured in the backboard. Double team. Gets it to battle. 
Battle down the lane. A little underhand shot is no good, but a foul is going to be called. Foul is going to be on uh, Aldridge, I think. His third. St. Augustine has five team fouls, but Battle will shoot two here. He scored seven points. Five of them on the line. There's another one. He's got eight. The lead is 11. Reyes is back on replacing Aldridge for St. Augustine. Second free throw is good. Nine points for Battle. St. Augustine by 10. Kennedy tried to pass ahead. It was kicked away by St. Joe. So you can see in this gymnasium, they have stands all around, both ends, both sides. It's a really nice facility. It comes into Harvey. Feet inside, the shot's blocked from behind, but Harvey follows it. Harvey has scored six points here in the fourth quarter. He's got 12, and it's a 12-point lead for St. Augustine. Battle pulls up the three, his first three in the game. He's got 12. Leads down to nine. Loose ball. Reyes on the floor, battling for it. Frank tried to pass it to Battle, but Battle was diving at the time and it hit him and went out of bounds. So it's St. Augustine possession right in front of Richland Rowdy. Who showed up in mass. Aldrich is coming back into the game. Harvey will come out. Checking in for the Hermits. Four oh four remaining. Fourth quarter. St. Augustine by nine in the South Jersey Championship game. And they have the basketball. They wipe up the floor. Even that guy gets a hand from the rallies. Comes in to Nelson. Double team gets it across the mutts. Nelson at half court. Closely guarded. Left side to Harvey. Harvey feeds Mutz and he stops it. Ten points for Justin Mutz. Badinovich passes it off. The fadeaway by Battles off the side of the backboard. Nelson ahead to Mutz who has to chase after it. It's out of bounds. Last touch by Badinovich. Mutz ended up in the middle of the cheering section. Watch this. Here it is. If you're watching us on Prime Events, that not a stuffed by Mutz on the pass from Nelson. Here's Nelson driving. Ball blocked, but he gets the rebound. Feeds Kennedy and puts it in over his head. That's Austin Kennedy's first two points. But he's contributed. Here's a three on the way. Off the rim, no good. And trying to follow his Frank, and he's fouled. He'll go back to the line. The foul is on Kennedy. That's his second. His second team six, but two shots for Alonzo Frink. The six foot seven sophomore who has scored 16 big points for St. Joe Metuchen as their two Division I players have been kept pretty much under control by St. Augustine. First free throw is good. He's got 17. Three fourteen left, fourth quarter. Second free throw is good. 18 points for Frank. Kennedy, pressured down court. Gets it to Nelson, back to Kennedy, across the timeline, robs it too high. Uh, Harvey saves it, but he saves it to St. Joe, a layup and a dunk by Tyree. He's got six. St. Joe calls timeout, oops, sorry, St. Augustine calls timeout with 2.56. St. Augustine. 
They've got one timeout left. 2.56 left fourth quarter. It's 55-46. St. Augustine by nine. Baltimore accurate game of the week. Produced by Prime Events on 97.3 ESPN-FN. Brian Carroll and their professional staff waiting to serve you at Boardwalk Acura on Tilton Road in Egg Harbor Township. It's, all, it's known all over the Delaware Valley, Johnson's Popcorn on the Ocean City Boardwalk, specializing in a delicious caramel corn. You can get Johnson's Popcorn individual servings all the way up to three and a half gallon tins. Johnson's Popcorn. 1368 Boardwalk in Ocean City. Phone 1-800-842-2676 and have your popcorn shipped to you. They're also online at johnsonspopcorn.com. Johnson's Popcorn since 1940. St. Augustine on top most of the way. Led by four at the end of the first quarter. Led by seven at the half. By 11 at the end of three. Lead by nine now with 2.56 left in the fourth quarter. And it's their basketball. Kennedy will inbound. Full court pressure by St. Joe. Mutz has it tipped and stolen. To the basket, blocked by Mutz. Davinovich feeds, uh, drives inside and a whistle. A foul is called against St. Augustine. Harvey, I believe. That would be his third. Team foul number seven. And Frank goes back to the line. He's got 18 points in the game. He's missed three free throws. 247 left. First free throw is good. Hit every little part of the rim dropped in. He's got 19. And the lead is reduced to eight. it up and hits it so he hits 20 and it comes in bounce to Nelson Nelson gets it ahead to Harvey Harvey double teamed and it's stolen away by Tyree and he goes down for the dunk eight points for three and Tyree Nelson is fouled the lead is down to five with 233 left in the fourth quarter there it is up and in for Bree and Tyree, he'll be doing that at Ole Miss. Fourth foul against Khalif Battle. One and one for Saeed Nelson, becomes kind of important as the lead's down to five. First free throw is no good, back of the rim. Rebound kept alive. Now is charged on Aldridge. He kept it alive, but when uh, St. Joe got a hold of it, he tried to get it back and drew his fourth foul. Now St. Joe's people are coming alive here in the gym. They're down by five. Two and a half minutes left. They're greatly outnumbered by St. Augustine. Khalif Battle, a freshman. He's two for two on the line, makes it. He's three for three. Makes this one, it's a one point a possession lead. Second free throw is good. He's got four, it's 55 52. Kennedy in the Mutz. Mutz has it tipped. It comes to Hargis. Hargis to Nelson. Nelson ahead to Aldridge, and they bring it out and set it up. Kennedy. Through the defense. Tries to feed inside. It's stolen away. And stolen back. Hargis with the ball. Hargis down the lane. And he is fouled by Frank. It almost looked like Frank just took it out of his hands. But he must have made contact. Official charges him with his second foul. The ninth against St. Joe Matuchin. And to the line is Marlon Hargis. Who's four for four on the line. Scored eight points in the game, and he makes that one. Gives St. Augustine a little more breathing room. It's a four-point lead. 2.08 left, fourth quarter. Second free throw, no good. 
across half court is Tyus Battle. Be wearing orange for the next four years. Down the lane. And Brias makes the shot. Brian Tyree makes the shot falling down, and he's fouled. They'll have a free throw. That's the same type of focus that Saeed Nelson's had in this whole game. Foul is charged against Vargas. It's the ninth, or excuse me, the tenth against San Augustine. Both teams in the double bonus. Tyree makes the free throw. 56-55. St. Augustine by one. A minute 50 left. Nelson in the backcourt. And St. Augustine uses its final timeout. With a minute 48 left. St. Augustine calls time. They lead 56 to 55 over St. Joe Metuchen. Need a sign? You need Captain Charlie. Captain Charlie uses Blue Water Graphics and Cape Signs to create signs for real estate and other businesses. They do construction site signs, window lettering for your business. They can also provide lettering for your van, truck, car, or boat. You can reach Blue Water Graphics at 609-823-8891 and Cape Signs at 856-506-0610. Signs, banners, vehicles, windows. They can supply whatever lettering you need at Blue Water Graphics and Cape Signs. Now in its 84th year as a family owned and operated dairy company, Cumberland Dairy is one of the premier manufacturers of specialty dairy products in the United States. Look for their fresh life label milks and creams at your local supermarket or convenience store. Cumberland Dairy, proud to sponsor coverage of St. Augustine Prep Sports. St. Augustine with the ball, opposite end of the court. They lead by one with a minute 48 left. And here goes Nelson. Nelson to the basket, puts it up no good. Ball's loose on the floor, must miss the follow. And Vodinovic comes away with the ball. He brings it across half court. St. Joe can take the lead. Tyree with the ball, out near half court. Tyree starts inside, feeds inside. The shot's up and good. Khalif Battle scores. He's got six, and it's a one-point lead for St. Joe. A foul is called here on Vodinovich. His second. Two shots. Double bonus for Saeed Nelson. St. Augustine trailing 57 to 56. You can see the St. Augustine players in the background. Anxious. 119 left. Makes the first to tie it up. 23 points for Nelson. Obviously, if you're looking on 97.3 ESPN FM, you can't see it, but you can if you go to primeevents.net. Watch the final minute, 19 seconds. Second free throw by Nelson is good. He hits them both. Look, he's got 24. St. Augustine by one. A minute 15 left, fourth quarter. Tyus Battle with the ball and timeout call. Full timeout by St. Joe McCutcheon. They have one left. We don't think St. Augustine has any left. The Boardwalk Honda Game of the Week produced by Prime Events on 97.3 ESPN-FM. Connect with Brian Brunel and the sales staff at Boardwalk Honda on Facebook. Shoppies is even better online. You probably visited their showroom at 1031 Shore Road in Linwood, but at Shoppie.com you can select and design your own trophy or award and order it right there. Shoppies also has a complete line of gifts. Remember, you're not presenting the finest trophy unless you're presenting a Shoppie trophy. Phone 609-653-1684 for Shoppies since 1921. If you get a chance, whether St. Augustine gets there or not, you should make the trip to the Pine Belt Arena, the campus of Tom's River North. The non-public uh, finals, state finals for girls and boys are Saturday starting at noon. And Sunday, it's the girls' public state championships. Right up the parkway. Exit, uh, around exit 83, it might be 82. And a great facility, the Pine Belt Arena. 
You can watch some of those games on MSP, MSG Varsity. Stands for Madison Square Garden. Across half court with the ball is Tyree. St. Joe down a point, a minute five left. Trying to win the South Jersey Championship. Ball tipped out of bounds by Nelson. This will be the final stream of the year for Matt Arbor, who brought that dimension to, that new dimension to Cape Atlantic and South Jersey sports a few years ago. And uh, more than ever this year. Here's a feed inside. The shot is up and good by Frank. He has had such a big game. He's got 22 points. It's St. Joe by one. Nelson with the ball. 50 seconds left. He's guarded by Tyree. Moves right. Accelerates in the lane. Shot blocked. Tyree comes away with it. Gets it to Battle. Battle double team. Back to Tyree. The two D1 players bringing the ball down. Tyree pressured. Chasing. Gets to Battle near half court. And a foul is called on Nelson with 27.7 seconds left. Saeed Nelson draws his second foul. And to the line will be Tyus Battle. He has scored 12 points in the game. He's 7 for 8 on the foul line. His team leads by 1. He can only make it a 3-point lead. He can't make it a 2-possession lead. First free throw. Good. So suffering through a bad first half. Battle has come alive in the fourth quarter. He has scored eight of his 13 points. And he missed that one. St. Augustine can tie it with a two, take the lead with a three. There's 20 seconds left. Nelson with the ball. Guarded by Vadinovich. Nelson crosses over, feeds inside, and Hargis is fouled. Marlon Hargis with 12.7 seconds will go to the line trying to tie this game. St. Augustine has led most of the game. But St. Joe has come from behind. Big fourth quarter by Tyree, by Battle, by Frankie, even by the other Battle, the freshman. First free throw by Hargis is good. He's in double figures, along with Nelson, Harvey, and Mutz. He can tie it here. Second free throw is good. 11, tied at 60. St. Joe with the ball. Tyus Battle. Five seconds across half court. Battle with a crossover. Battle in the lane. His shot is up. It is short. Rebounded by St. Augustine, and we're going to go to overtime. Sixty to sixty. St. Augustine has led most of the way. The Falcons of St. Joseph have touched in fourth quarter. Outscored St. Augustine thirty-one to twenty, and it's sixty sixty as we get ready for, for overtime here at Jackson Liberty High School. St. Augustine led most of the way. St. Joe came back strong, took the lead, then St. Augustine came back, especially on the two free throws by Hargis. You'll like the way they do business at the Thomas H. Heist Insurance Agency. They're coastal insurance specialists with over 35 years experience. Flood, boat, auto, life, health, they offer it all at the Heist Agency with convenient offices in Ocean City, Margate, Egg Harbor Township, Marmora, and Vineland. Phone 609-399-0453. You'll also find them online at heistagency.com. Remember, Thomas H. Heist, when you need insurance. So they'll jump center here. Alonzo Frank will jump against Justin Mutz. Four-minute overtime for the South Jersey Championship. Mutz controls, and Nelson has the ball. Nelson has scored 24 points, and there he goes! Saeed Nelson down the lane for the layup, and he's fouled.
just accelerated. It looked like he was going to settle in, make a pass, and boom. He's down the lane. Makes the free throw. 27 for Nelson. St. Augustine by three. Down court. They give it to Vodinovich. Ball well, loose for a moment. Tyree gets it. His three's no good. The rebound gap by St. Joe's. They put it in the hands of Tyus Battle, the Syracuse recruit. He's out near half court. Starts a move. Right of the lane. Scoop shot is good. Got up above the rim. 15 points for Battle. Here's a steal by Battle. Shot no good. Rebounded by St. Joe's. And up and good by Alonzo Frank. The roll around the rim and dropped in. He's got 24 points. And the foul will send him to the line. Could give St. Joe's a two-point lead. It's the third foul on Marlon Hargis. Frank shooting the free throw. Six foot seven sophomore. Got it. He's got 25. St. Joe leads by two. Kennedy gives it to Nelson. Saeed Nelson across half court to Kennedy, left wing. Right side, Nelson. In the corner, Kennedy. Hargis has it. Nelson near half court. Nelson pulls up for three. Back rim no good. Rebound by Battle. Vadinovich dribbling between the defenders. Bounces it in the corner to Frank. It's been the key to the game for St. Joe's. And they're going to hold the ball. 222 up in the first overtime. They lead by two. And St. Augustus is in the double bonus. Down the lane. And a offensive foul is called on Tyus Battle. He drove the lane and then kicked it out to Branislav Rudinovich, who was ready to fire a three when the whistle blew because Battle ran over a defender. His fourth foul. And he's taken out of the game. Xavier Towns comes in. St. Augustine possession. The floor's wet. So they're bringing out a towel to wipe it up. It's 65-63. St. Joe McCutcheon leads St. Augustine with 2.13 left in the fourth, uh, excuse me, in the first overtime period for the South Jersey Non-Public A Championship. Kennedy will inbound and St. Joe applies some pressure. Not intense pressure like they supplied in the fourth quarter to help bring themselves back. Nelson across half court. Nelson down the right sideline, keeps his dribble. Drives the lane, scoop shot's good. Nelson ties it up, he's got 29. A minute 45 left in overtime. Tyree with the ball. He gets it back outside. Then they play for the last shot. Khalif Battle handles. Now Tyree almost stepped in it. Half field line. Down the lane. Tries to dunk. He doesn't. He's fouled. And he'll shoot two free throws. Two free throws coming up for Brian Tyree. He's one for one on the line. He's an old miss recruit. And Justin Mutz is fouled out with a minute 28 left. He leaves with 10 points, but a couple of dunks, great rebounds, some fine passes, some good defense, though. He did draw the five fouls. He's replaced by Brendan Aldridge, who has four. On the line, Brian Tyree, the old Miss recruit. First free throw is good. 
He's in double figures, the third to hit twin figures for St. Joe's Metuxet. They lead by one. Minute 28 left, first overtime. Missed it. Rebound by Hargis. And the foul. Fouls on uh, Rubinovich, his fourth. No, oh, I'm sorry, it's his fifth. We missed one somewhere. So he'll be replaced by Battle. Tyus Battle has four fouls. He's been wanting to come in for the offensive end. Somebody's got to come in. They've only got four players in the court. Coach is going to take his time. He was ready to put Tyus Battle back in. He has four fouls. I guess he didn't want him to play defense. Yeah, here he comes. So Tyus Battle, Syracuse recruit, back in. He has 15 points, but he has four fouls. So they're trying to keep him off the court on defense. Now, Saeed Nelson has 29 points. He can put St. Augustine ahead. Minute 23 left in overtime. First free throw, good. 30 points for Nelson. Tied at 66. St. Augustine 28-1, only lost to St. Anthony's of Jersey City. Second free throw is good. 31 for Nelson, St. Augustine by one. Tyree with the ball, approaches half court. Between the circles. Tyree starts a move. Bounces inside, strong move by Frank. He's fouled, but the shot doesn't go. He'll have two shots with a minute six left in overtime. Looks like the foul's on Harvey. Officials are making their signals to the other side of the court. So we can't always see their fingers. Yeah, it's the fourth foul on Walt Harvey. So Harvey has four. Aldridge has four for St. Augustine. On the line, Alonzo Frank. First one is short. He has missed four free throws, though he has 25 big points for St. Joe's. He needs to make this to tie it. A minute six left in overtime. Second free throw is good. He's got 26. We're tied at 67. We'll see if St. Augustine plays for the last shot. There's a minute left. Nelson across half court, and they'll use their last timeout. At least we think it is. 59.1 seconds. They're going to gather around Paul Rodeo. He's won more games than it. any coach in South Jersey history. 858 of them in his 39 years as the coach at St. Ant at St. Augustine. Boardwalk Accurate Game of the Week produced by Prime Events on 97.3 ESPN-FM. Boardwalk Accurate is your trusted dealer for car loans, auto parts, and auto repair. Visit BoardwalkAccurate.com. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow's Sports Bash with Mike Gill, and he'll inform you as to what the coverage plans are for the weekend. Atlantic City is playing Linden at noon on Sunday at Rutgers in the state Group 4 championship game. The Ocean City girls were eliminated last night, and St. Augustine trying to move on today. If they do win this game, they'll play at 7 o'clock Saturday at the Pine Belt Arena in Tom's River. St. Augustine possession, 59.1 seconds left. We're tied at 67 in overtime for the South Jersey Non-Public A Championship. Nelson with the ball near half court. He has scored 31 points. St. Augustine shows every sign of holding the ball. 40 seconds, Kennedy gives up his dribble. Nelson guarded by Tyree, two Division I recruits. Holding is Hargis, and they'll just hold it there until somebody comes out. Here comes Battle, down to 20 seconds. Nelson.
Anderson with the ball, double team, gets it back to Hargis, to Harvey on the left wing, 15 seconds, Nelson has the ball, Nelson down the lane, feeds in the middle, short shot is no good, but a foul is called, and Harvey, Walt Harvey will go to the line, the 6'3 junior, for a pair of shots, with 9.4 seconds left in overtime in a tie game. St. Augustine players in the background hooking arms together on the edge of their seats, ready to watch their teammate shoot free throws. Harvey has not been to the foul line this game, which is pretty amazing because it seems like there's been 45 fouls between the two teams. Uh, there's a delay here, I don't know why. Oh, I know why. <laughs> Khalif Battle fouled out. And Dave Turco took all the time he was allowed to make the substitution. All right, two shots here for Harvey. First one. Good. He's got 13. St. Augustine by one, 9.4 seconds left. In overtime. Second shot. Good. Harvey makes them both. It's 69 67. St. Augustine by two. St. Joe McTouching calls timeout. We think they have one more left. St. Augustine will uh, be probably provide some token pressure. St. Joe has it at the opposite end of the court. This game brought to you with the best wishes of everyone at Calvi Electric in Atlantic City. We we'll encourage you to get out and support your favorite high school team each and every week. Interstate Batteries of Egg Harbor Township has been providing South Jersey with outrageous dependability for over 26 years with over 1 million battery sales. Interstate Batteries, America's number one replacement battery located at 6064 Riga Avenue, Egg Harbor Township. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday 9 to 2. If you need a battery, you'll find it at Interstate Batteries. Outrageously dependable. Two veteran coaches, Dave Turco with over 400 wins at St. Joe, Paul Rodeo with almost 860 at St. Augustine. And we're coming down to the wire here. 69-67, St. Augustine by two. With 9.4 seconds left in overtime. It comes in to battle. The Syracuse said recruit. Pulls up, comes to Tyree, a three on the way. It's off. St. Augustine has won the South Jersey Championship, 69 to 67. The St. Augustine players mobbing each other right in the middle of it. Saeed Nelson with 31 points. And St. Augustine moves on to Saturday at the Pine Belt Arena playing for the state non-public A championship. Lots of celebration. Lots of people here from St. Augustine. But almost that, maybe a bigger cheering section that you see at some of the home games. And, and they recognize the, the rowdies. The players do. Players are shaking hands now. We're gonna try to talk to Paul Rodeo and Saeed Nelson. St. Augustine improves to 29 and one and the two free throws made by Walt Harvey. Broke to 67 all time. Let's see if we can get Paul Rodeo over here before he gets mobbed by the rest of the press and the rest of the media. Where's that Will Morris when you need him? <laughs> Let's take a look at the scoring here. Nelson finishes with 31 points, Paul Harvey with 14, Marlon Hargis with 11, Justin Mutz with 10, Austin Kennedy at two, and Brendan Aldridge one, but hey, every point counted. Take one of them away in the, in the four quarters, the game doesn't go to overtime. 
for St. Joe McCutcheon, Alonzo Frank, 6'7 sophomore, had 26 points. Without him, they would not have been in the game. And for a while, they weren't, or at least were far behind. He was kind of keeping them in the game. Tyus Battle, who's going to Syracuse to play his next game for the Orange, had 15 points. Tyre, three and Tyree, whose next game will be at Ole Miss, had 10. Branislav Budinovich scored six. So did Khalif Battle. And uh, Latrell West had two points. And Paul Rodeo is coming over here. He's going to be congratulated by lots of people. Let's see if we can get the Saeed too. All right. Another day at the office. We're not even going to look to wow. <laughs> First of all, we all know how good Saeed Nelson is. You see him every single day, not only in games, but in practice. And he steps up in a game like this, scores 31 points, look unstoppable, especially in the first half. I mean, he's playing against two major Division I players, could go to Syracuse, and he could go to Ole Miss, and he went by about six or seven times. Uh, you can't ask much more from my group. I know we blew a lead, we missed some foul shots down the stretch, and, but they're very good, and they turned us over, and they uh, kind of made plays. But give my kids credit, they, they hung in there, and when they had to make a play, even with what's fouling out, we made, we made the plays we had to make. Well, Harvey steps through the line. He hadn't been in the line all night. Probably the only guy that hasn't, and he makes them both. No question. I mean, you know, we're that kind of a team. Give these kids credit. They've hit every challenge that they've had to make for the last two years, except a game here and there. So God bless them. It'll be a great win. Now, uh, again, what about the comeback that they made? I mean, uh, you look like you had it under control. Yeah, we did, and we made some mistakes. Now, it nah, definitely usually doesn't. We have to go back and work on some things and do some things, get ready for Saturday. I don't know which team's going to win, but I don't know if it could be any better than that. No, no, I think that the, uh, it's hard to believe that you'd face a team, except maybe for St. Anthony, that, uh, that's any better than them. Uh, what was your thinking coming in? What, what? I thought that they would be very, very tough for us to beat. They're very challenging. They're very athletic. They're very good. Uh, they played a great schedule, got a couple of losses, but three nationally ranked teams, uh, you know, so we thought it would be this kind of game. I didn't think we'd get up 18, 19 points, you know, or 15, right. whatever the hell we were up, right. uh, but give them credit for coming back and doing the plays, making the plays they had to make. You know, Paul, we, we all talk about the Saeed, a terrific player, the best player in South Jersey, and, and Justin Mutz has so much talent, he's right behind him. Austin Kennedy gets a little... We don't talk about Marlon Hargis. Now, Marlon is this is guy. He's going to be a, he's already a good he's player. He's going to be a very, very good player. He's going to, he's going to step up, and I think next year we're still going to be very good. Oh, I think you are too. But right now, you got another big game ahead of you, and maybe uh, as many as three or four of them. You never know. We'll be ready to play on Saturday, I can tell you that. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, bud. Congratulations. Thank you. Paul Rodeo, win number uh, 859, <laughs> but a special one among the, uh, uh, the wins. 29 and 1 this year. I think it ties or breaks the school record for wins in the season uh, for St. Augustine. And uh, here comes Justin Mutz. He's going to join us here. Justin, congratulations. Thank you. What is the thing coming in? What do you have to do to beat this team? Uh, we had to stop them from getting our transition and definitely rebound. And I think we did, we did a pretty good job of doing that first half, but second half they did their game. They played their game and we were struggling. Does it, does it bring it up a little bit more when you read you're going to play against guys that are going to Syracuse and Ole Miss? It gets tough. It gets tough for sure. Because we're playing, we're playing teams that have good guys all the time, but when you play a team that has guys going to Ole Miss and Syracuse, you definitely got to bring your A game. You know, some people think when you get a big lead and you lose it, it's tough to get it again. It's tough to get that energy going again, but you guys did it. Yeah, they got they got on a really good run in the fourth quarter. We had to overcome it, and Rodeo did a great job getting us up, and we just had to keep playing. Now, it, you, we talk about the two players that are going D1, but the guy that gave you the most trouble was the sophomore, uh, uh, Alonzo Frank, number 23 in the middle. He did a great job. But he, he did exactly what he had to do for them, and he's a great role player for them. And Hattias and uh, Levin, they, they, they do a great job feeding him where he needs to be, and he finishes, for sure. And it's great. You got more games ahead of you now. Hopefully, for sure. All right. At least one. Yep. yep. Congratulations. Thank you. Justin Mutz. He had 10 points. Fouled out of the game. Uh, but also some big rebounds, some big shots blocked. A couple of really nice passes. 
uh, to set up people inside. And we'll hang on here until we get Saeed Nelson. So two teams from the Cape Atlantic League into the uh, 